Hi everyone, I'm Ertha and I'm an international student in Alberta, Canada. And for this video, we are going to talk about how it's like to be a Paul Valley College student. So for this video, I'm going to answer some of your frequently asked questions. Studying at Bow Valley College is quite different from studying back home. Kasi um, here at BVC, ang ginagawa namin is we discuss a chapter a week. So since I'm in a condensed class right now, um, we discuss one chapter per day. So what it is is that by the close of each semester, the goal is to finish the book. Second difference would be the grading system. Kasi sa back home, di ba, ang grading system natin is numerals. So, 190 uh, pasado is 75. Pero here at BBC, I'm not sure if here in Canada in general, we use like letters, yung A+, plus, A, A-, minus, B+. Plus. So, uh, if you are aiming for a really high mark, then ang ini-aim mong grade is a A+. Plus. So that ranges, I believe, sa BVC is 95 to 100. Uh, if your grade falls from 90 to 94, A na siya, uh, and so on and so forth. Para mas credible ang sinasabi ko, I'll just put the link down below. Yun yung main difference. And the second thing with the grades too, is as I mentioned earlier, ang passing grade sa Philippines is 75%. Sa Bow Valley College, ang passing is 50%. Actually, ang 75 grade dito is a B. And according to my professors, and may mga naririnig din ako, B is actually still a good grade here. Ang third difference na masasabi ko is yung general culture sa classroom. Kasi diba back home, back in the Philippines, makikita mo yung hierarchy ng student and ng professors. Parang mahihirapan kang lumapit sa professors mo. Unless, of course, yung culture ng school mo allows na easily yung pag-connect ng students sa <laughs> professors. Pero dito, ang hierarchy is not too much. Parang more or less, the same level lang kayo. Hindi ko sinasabi na parang wala na yung image ng professor and student Pero, mas closer ang gap. You can actually reach out to your professors uh, anytime and then they will equally respond. Hindi ka matatakot na lumapit sa kanila. Actually, some of my professors will also tell you not to call them sir or ma'am. Hindi ko alam kung bakit, pero uh, may ganun siyang factor. Kasi back home, di ba, kailangan kapag kakausapin mo yung professors mo, you have to address them. Sir and ma'am. Or miss, no college ako, miss ang call namin sa, miss or mister, ang tawag namin sa aming professors. And last name pa, here, first name basis, di ba? Parang close-closean kayo. Pero I believe it has to do with the culture in general. Hindi sila masyadong parang master and then mama. And also, kung muna rin magsi-CR ka, hindi na kailangan, may I go out, hindi na kailangan ng ganon. Pwede ka na lang mag-step out, pero dapat quietly and hindi ka nakaka-disturb sa iyong mga uh, classmates and as well for the teachers. Kasi disruptive din yun, ba? So, those are the things na differences ng culture ng studying sa Philippines and studying dito sa Canada. So, uh, regarding sa professors, actually, mahirap magsabi kung sino yung mga professors na magagaling and not. Kasi, uh, it actually, it all depends on you kasi Sometimes, may mga professors na uh, mas mabuti para sa sa'yo. In a sense, kasi yung way nila ng teaching is nag appeal sa type sa type mo. Kasi ako, ano, ako parang kinesthetic learner. So, nag appeal sa akin yung mga practical questions kapag nagkakaroon ng simulations and so on and so forth. Pero, I, I know na may mga classmates din ako na auditory sila or visual learner sila. May professor ako na hindi masyadong gumagamit ng PowerPoint. So, for a visual learner, mahirap yun kasi, di ba, kailangan mo ng parang PowerPoint, kailangan mo ng may makikita ka, di ba? Meron naman na masaga appeal sa kanila yung naririnig. So, kung puro visual ka, 
hindi ka talaga matututo or something. Mahihirapan kang ma- hindi na- mahihirapan kang matuto kung yun yung way ng professors. Pero so far, what I could say sa mga professors is they are very very friendly kasi like anytime pwede kang mag-ask ng questions. No question is a stupid question. Sorry for the words, pero yun yung lagi nilang sinasabi. They will ask questions, they will encourage questions, and very happy sila kapag nag-reach out ka. Hindi ka mahihiyang lumapit na parang, Uy, may question ako, nakalimutan ko to. Kasi mag respond sila, hindi ka mapapahiya. And then, uh, like what I've said earlier, mga professors kasi sa BBC, so far sa mga professors ko, are credible. Kasi practitioners din sila. Like, meron akong professor sa law, uh, nag, nag-work siya under corporate law, if I'm not mistaken, for over 20 years. Meron din ako professor na naging director ng, I don't know if she's still a director, pero director siya sa mga big retail companies dito sa Canada. So, we have those uh, professors. Also, like at the end of each course, pwede mong i yung mga professors mo. Bibigyan kayo ng chance. Actually, there will always be like reminders especially pag malapit na yung deadline ng end ng pag-rate ng professors na kailangan mo na silang i-rate. So, doon sa pag-rate ng professors, pwede mo silang i-rate as a teacher. Pwede ka ring mag-rate ng about doon sa course. And if meron kayong comments, recommendations, ganyan, pwede nyong ilagay lahat doon. If not, I believe you can also reach out sa program chairs kasi like every schools and every programs, merong program chairs. Kapag merong kayong mga concerns regarding your professors, you can always reach out to the program chairs. So, one thing that I really appreciate about BBC are their co-curricular um, activities and programs. Like, madami kami volunteering, opportunities, madami kami seminars for academic success, meron ni kami seminars for mental health, Meron din kami for careers. Meron din kami for professional or personal uh, success. So, hindi lang siya nakafocus sa academic uh, growth, pero like yung overall na success ng isang person, I have to say. Ako supi ako ng mga seminar sa ka-workshop. Kaya super na-enjoy ko yung mga facilities na yon and super feeling ko is na ma-maximize ko yung learning ko sa Bow Valley College. Dami ko na naman chika, sorry guys, pero ayun. I'm just so happy and hindi dahil nag-aaral ako sa Bow Valley College, pero I'm just so happy and I have no regrets naman of studying at Bow Valley College kasi super na-enjoy ko naman yung kanilang mga programs and facilities. Kala nyo ba daming ano yun, FAQ? So, na naka-maisip eh. Please don't quote me kasi I'm just sharing my own experience with you. I do understand that every experience is different. So, what I've mentioned earlier, yun lang yung experience ko. And, yeah. If you have any questions, suggestions, uh, or may gusto kayo malaman, ganyan, uh, just comment down below. Nagbabasa pa ako ng comment. If there's a need for me to do a video para mas maganda, mas makapag-add ng value sa inyo, I would. So, yeah! I think that's it for me. And to end this particular video, let's do a quick Bow Valley College campus tour. So, yeah, please enjoy and see you guys in the next video.